There was obviously some more drama happening last night. So Dubai residents were actually stuck in traffic in the Palm for over three hours yesterday. Although there was jam-packed traffic en route to Expo 2020 Dubai last night, there was a massive traffic jam elsewhere as well, which was the result of flooding on the Palm, leading to a delay of over three hours to motorists trying to get in and out. Now, obviously, traffic isn't great anyway, sometimes on the Palm, but to get a flood, not good. Yeah, so a community resident, even in the area, he tweeted 45 minutes just to leave Palm Jumeirah at 6 p.m. This is shocking for the most prestigious area within Dubai. It's been like this for a long time. Please find a solution. Please find a long-term solution. And he tagged RTA and Nikhil communities and all of that, to which RTA responded, kindly know that there is a traffic in Palm Jumeirah Street due to irrigation pipeline breakage. We are coordinating with Nikhil team to do the needful as soon as possible. So, of course, as usual, Dubai uh, and the community and the developers jumped in and they um, managed the whole uh, situation as soon as possible. But of course, having that delay just puts a damper on your plans. And especially if people were leaving to, you know, head to work, head to schools, because it was from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And that too, of course, I mean, schools are on a break, so I guess schools were not affected. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's fantastic the RTA actually retweeted it, retweeted, yeah. and they actually got back to them. And they obviously, in typical Dubai style, they were um, on it very quickly. I mean, these things sometimes just, you can't help. You yeah. know, they happen all the time, not in Dubai, but just around the world. Um, and it is annoying. Like, it just is. Because let's be honest, none of us like to wait for anything. That's so true. So, most people... get angry about waiting. Even if it's five minutes, we get angry about waiting. But yeah, three and hours, irritant. Of course it will be. And of course, when you stay in Dubai and you get so used to the comfortable, like no queues, no lines, traffic there. Oh, but Dubai's like so easy. Yeah. Love it. This is why it is honestly I love. I'm, I'm going to struggle. I'm, yeah, can't go back to the UK. <laughs> I'm stuck here now. You know what? Roll out the citizenships, the U- UAE. I'm we accepting. Are, we will take it. Accepting. Yeah, <laughs> take it. But um, yeah, like you said, the fact that RTA tweeted back and just gave a response on this was so commendable because I don't think in other countries there would even be a response. It would just be overlooked altogether. And like the solution would have come after five, six hours of people just sitting there wondering what's happening. Someone would come and fix it and no tweets, no uh, announcements mm. as to what's developed of the situation. Yeah. So, very commendable. But of course, like those are motorists that were stuck in the traffic jam. Uh, and a lot of those who'd ride scooters and bikes, well, you guys got away with